Well, God bless you all. I wanted to get on here and do a little backstory on holidays and how God has been convicting me about celebrating Christmas, Easter, Thanksgiving, just pagan holidays. Holidays because God does not want us to take on the ways of the world. We are supposed to be set apart, holy. The only way to be able to use the blood is if we go by God's protocols. So God's protocols are the Sabbath day. Remember the Sabbath day, keep it holy. Um, this is a day of rest. Um, it's on Saturday. That's usually when people go clubbing, watch football, do things other, anything other than focusing on the Lord. We're even supposed to prepare our food the day ahead. Uh, the day of atonement, Leviticus 23, 27 talks about this. We're supposed to dry fast, no sex, no water, no food. We're supposed to afflict our souls. So we're actually going to be focusing on the Lord and afflicting our souls. That's one day. Then number three is the Passover in Leviticus 23, 5. The fourth day of the first month is in remembrance of Israel leaving Egypt and they consumed lamb on this day. It's very important. God wants us to pass these commemorations of God to our children so that our children will remember the Lord in the next generation and realize how serious God is about things. You know, grace is not a license to quit doing God's protocols. So we want to do God's protocols because the benefits are that the evil will know you. They won't say, like they said to the sons of Sceva, oh, Paul I know and Jesus I know, but you I don't know. No, sir, they will know you and they will know you by name. And when they see you coming, they will see Jesus coming. And there will be a lot and they will flee. They will run up to you and you can cast them out of the brothers. There's a scripture in Hebrews. Straighten up your knees and walk straight so that the lame will be healed. You will be able to walk in signs, wonders, and miracles and be able to do the great commission, what Jesus has called you to do. Jesus has called you to heal the sick, cast out demons, and preach the gospel. Um, the fourth is the Feast of Trumpets. Um, this is the seventh month of the first day. It's a day of repentance. The Feast of Tabernacles. No working. Keep your mind on God. Don't worry about the bills. You They used to stay in tents for seven days. Um, I want to start doing that. Be serious about God. Stay in tents for seven days. Maybe go camping. Just go get in God's protocol. You know, if you don't know about it, God will have grace for you. But if you know about it, you are to change. That's the whole point of being sanctified. You begin to lay aside every weight that hinders you. The guys, the apostles in the New Testament, they went, went by all of these ways. So this is very important, guys. Number six is the Feast of Unleavened Bread. 1 Corinthians 5, 8, Deuteronomy 16, 3. Um, talks about this. You remember um, for seven days you have no leaven. This is a, a commemoration in the Bible that we need to do to keep our minds set on Christ. There's a scripture in Proverbs 14, 15 that says the simple just believe whatever they hear and the prudent research for themselves. If you will look up a lot of these holidays on Google like Easter and um, Halloween and Christmas and see the origins and you'll realize that it came from when we were in captivity. It came from um, some serious sexual sin, some different things. You know, bunnies don't even lay eggs. So you might want to research what that means. And then um, we just want to, we want to Remember these days, keep them holy, keep our minds set on God. And then Satan's holidays, um, the followers of the truth, nowhere in the Bible does it state that Jesus' birthday is on Christmas. It only states the death of Jesus. You know, we live from death to second coming. Christians live from the, the death to the second coming. And we are waiting on the return of the Lord. We're supposed to overcome by the blood of the Lamb, the word of our testimony, that we love not our lives, even unto death. So we don't care. We're set apart. We are sanctified. We are holy. We come out from among the world. Um, so the first day is Halloween. Halloween is very demonic holiday. It's very dangerous. They think, oh, it's not a big deal. Well, it is a big deal to God. If you will read your word, if you will listen to your word in audio Bible, you will realize that God is serious. God is serious. God is not playing. And God is not some stony figure. God is real and he's in heaven. And Jesus is alive today. I speak to Jesus every day. And if you're not speaking to Jesus and Jesus isn't speaking to you, you might want to test yourself to see if you're in the faith. Then there's Easter. Easter began with a, the Greek goddess Ashtar. It's a very, very pagan holiday. It was based on um, 
some serious sexual immorality. Then there is Christmas. Christmas is pagan. It's based on a false person, myths, and, and vain traditions, okay? Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day, many women get sad on Valentine's Day when they don't get presents, and um, they're not even married. And so a lot of fornication, a lot of idolatry is going on on Valentine's Day. If you'll use Google and you will Google what it is about, you will be surprised. Uh, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is another pagan holiday, guys. Google it. Mother's Day. We are supposed to be honoring our mothers and fathers every day of the year. This just gives us only one day to honor them, which takes the focus on the importance of the commandment to honor our fathers and mothers. And that is the only commandment that comes with the promise of a long life. I'll tell you what, the Holy Spirit didn't come on me until I had a chance to honor my father. No matter <clears throat> how crazy your parent is, you are to honor them. You know, I heard a brother say that he had gotten saved. Um, Derek Prince said he had gotten saved and he was being condescending rude to his parents and he thought well they're not saved I don't have to treat them with respect and he went to appraise the Lord and God got on to him God was like no you better go honor your parents so seriously guys this is a very important important commandment to honor your parents every day of the year and then Mother's Day Father's Day and then Babylon Babylon was celebrating Easter um, they were celebrating all of these holidays and Jeremiah 10 verses 2 through 4 it talks about cutting down a Christmas tree and decorating it with silver and gold and putting purple ribbon around it what do you think it's talking about don't do that vain thing uh, that's a Christmas tree so we got rid of our Christmas tree you can look in my my stuff I used to have a Christmas tree you can look through my pictures and my Facebook and stuff we used to have one I leave that there so that you can see God has changed my life and I'm telling you guys, the benefits are amazing. He healed sisters and brothers and done miracles through the working of my hands. And I am becoming a fruit-bearing Christian, which is very important. It's like the disciples of the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, versus the disciples after Jesus' resurrection and ascension. These disciples were walking in the power of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit, he told them, go away and dress them. He blew on them and said, receive the Holy Spirit. Well, you may have the Holy Spirit, but if you want to receive the Holy Spirit upon you, go wait in Jerusalem. Put apart, put aside these things, set aside these things and begin to walk straight. Straighten up your back, walk straight and the lame will recover. The sick will be healed. Whenever you pray for people, God will authenticate his word with signs, wonders and miracles. God is going to be able to do mighty wonders when your life glorifies God, but God cannot go against his word. This is important guys we need to hold true to God be true to God let God be true and every man a liar that's what that means that verse is not to shame somebody that verse is to say let God be true and every man a liar hold fast to God hold fast keep your mind centered on God and his word not the world become like Jesus as you behold him you will become like him and if you don't have time to read the word you can play audio Bible while you are washing dishes you can wash your mind as you are washing dishes you can wash your mind as you are driving your car you can wash your mind as you are working if you can put a little earbud in your ear and you can listen to the word of the Lord and learn the character of God begin to walk in the character of God so guys keep God's God's days keep God's ordinances this is important forsake the world and come in with God this is so important guys forsake the things of the world God's days and Satan's holidays who are you serving? Which ones are you celebrating? We need to get in God's order. We need to get in God's order.